This is Betty and Veronica Digest Magazine, number 50 from the Archie Digest Library, and it sold for $1.50, and there's Archie 50th anniversary, and Veronica says, Archie, let me know if you need a hand with the umbrella. And I bought this in an antique shop recently, and there is a sticker here. I'll have to see if I can get that off. And this is from September 1991. And the first story is Betty and Veronica and Faultless Behavior. And Veronica says, know what I like about Archie? He doesn't find fault. Constantly criticize me like so many boys I know. And Betty says, true, you can say that about Archie. In fact, you just did say that about Archie. What do you like about Archie? Just about everything. I knew that. But you know, it's too perfect. Everything can't be to his liking. It does seem unlikely. Come on, Arch. Something's bothering you. What's wrong? Humph, as if you care. You didn't even notice. Notice what? I had my hair styled differently last week. You didn't say a word. Hey, I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't cut it, pal. There's been too much of this lately. There has? Last week I bought a new sweater. Did you notice it? No, you did not. Eep. I remember that new sweater. So do I. Frankly, it isn't one of my favorites. I didn't care for it either. Of course you don't. The colors were all wrong. That sweater cl clashed with my hair simply miserably. It was kind of a mismatch. Sure it was, but did my best friend say so? No, he didn't. Not one word out of him about how the colors clash. I kind of liked it. And when Big Moose threatened Reggie with bodily harm for being over-friendly with his girlfriend, Midge, right. You know about it right from the start. I was on the scene when it happened. I even offered to hold Big Moose's coat so I could see the slaughter. He knew, good grief, he knew what was going on. He knew, so it seems. And I had to hear it from some stranger in the hallway. Best friend, humph, a fine best friend you turned out to be. See, he isn't perfect. He does find fault. Yes, but it all sounds familiar somehow. His complaints are about his hair, his collar, his clothes. Sorry, <laughs> gossip. Good grief, he's doing us. No wonder it sounded familiar. You're right. The little devil was mimicking our conversations. It takes guts to criticize Veronica. It takes a subtle touch. You've got to kind of sneak in. It in. And then there's Sabrina in Time Will Tell. And she's thinking, gosh, look at all the attention Melissa's getting with her many trendy watches. I wish there was some way to top her. I got it. Zap. Hey guys, look, take a look at Sabrina. There's advertisement for Return to the Blue Lagoon. And there's Archie and the Promise and Jughead and Tale of Travail. There's an order form for Archie Americana series. And next door is Betty and Veronica in The Little Things. And here's the order form for six issue double digest subscriptions or five issue digest subscriptions. And let's see in the back. I'll just flip through the rest. What was that? There's a Mr. Weatherby pinup. Or Mr. Weatherby, I wouldn't go in the water now if I were you. Archie's in there spear fishing. Oh, here's an Archie watch. Archie aviation watch with propeller hands.
Thanks for watching.